Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio Helves and today I will help you with the problem HTTP 500 internal server error. Let's begin. Well, let me tell you that internal server error is one of the most common WordPress problems. These are the most common issues that can cause this problem with your website. PHP error in plugins or themes, wrong rules in the HD access file, or wrong permissions in your WordPress folders. Since it doesn't give you any other information, it can be quite frustrating for a lot of us. But don't worry, because I will show you with some possible solutions how to easily fix it. Do a full backup of all your files. Before applying any changes to your website, we recommend you to make a backup of all your files and databases using our backup tool, Inside Tools. To do that, I recommend you to watch our full video called How to manage my backups in SiteGround Site Tools that you can find clicking in the upper right corner of this video or find the link in the description below. Ok, let's try removing the HD access file. Keep in mind that any custom options added manually or by any plugin will be lost. To do so, log in to your SiteGround account and click on Websites, Site Tools, and then click at the File Manager link under the Site menu. Once the files are loaded, go to the roots of your WordPress installation and rename the HD access file to HD access underscore backup. Then try visiting your site to see if this solved the problem. If it did, then go to your WordPress dashboard, go to Settings, Permalinks, and then click the Save button without making any changes. This will regenerate a new HD access file for you with the proper rewrite rules to ensure that your post pages do not return a 404 error. There are four ways to deactivate WordPress plugins. In the WordPress admin area, editing the database, using WPCLI or renaming the folders but as a last resort. Each one of these techniques has its own steps to follow. That's why I recommend you to watch the video How to Deactivate Plugins in WordPress, clicking in the car in the upper right corner, or you can also find the link in the description of this video. Once you have deactivated all the plugins, check if the error persists. Otherwise, activate them back and search for new solutions. In order to restore the permissions of your WordPress folders, go to your site tools and click on the Install and Manage link under the WordPress menu. Once the page is loaded, go to the Action Zone of your WordPress instance and click the Reset Permissions icon. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck!